Hi everyone, it's Suzanne Tucker with Generation Mindful here with your 27th Feeling Friday. And today we are visited by Sweet Indigo Owl who has to say to us, with my ears and my whole body, I listen. So today we're gonna to be bringing this mantra in and sharing it with our kids. And as you can guess, if it has to do with Indigo Owl, who represents this part of our body, the third eye area, our intuition, it is going to have to do with our feeling body, all right? Not just our head. Do you ever get stuck up here in your head? Today will help, and it will help you teach your kids in a way that they too can tune in and trust their bodies. So let's start by bringing it in, breathing in through our nose, closing our eyes, breathing in with my ears and my whole body, breathing out, I listen. Breathing in with my ears and my whole body. Breathing out, I listen. Awesome. All right, so little peacemakers, they are meant to just give us focus for the day. And I like to just pull one with the kids and have that one special card to be inspired by. So we like to start with where are we feeling stopped? So with, well, it's obvious, right? Where we get stopped is we get rational, logical, and um, when our children are emotive and they're in their middle brain, what I think of as the yellow light, we go into our rational thinking mind, our green brain, and we try to explain to them, or even not just our children, other people in our, in our world, why what they're feeling is wrong. We try to rationalize away feelings, and it doesn't work, does it? When someone is in their emotive brain and we are coming at it with our thinking brain, we're not meeting brain to brain. So the practice of with my ears and my whole body, I listen, is listening for what's underneath the feelings. Not just with your thinking brain, but with your heart. All right? So let's see. Um, Where my train of thought here? Whoa, where I wanted you to bring this with your kids. So um, it's fun to ask them if they've ever thought about how do you listen with your eyes, right? So if your child is maybe even three, four, five, definitely five, six, seven, eight, and on up, give them the understanding that you can listen with other parts of your body than just your ears. So even if you ask a little kid, how do you listen with your eyes? Am I listening to you now or am I listening to you now? They can understand that making eye contact or being focused with the eyes can be a form of listening, right? So if we're busy with our hands or if our hands are still and resting in our laps, um, which feels like listening hands, right? If our body is turned toward the person we're talking to or turned away, what is our listening body doing? Our feet, right? You can ask them and let them have fun with that. Play with that. Play with your listening body. Act out what does listening look like, all right? Because you've got to remember, emotional, social skills are skills, just like reading, just like writing. We take them for granted. But children are varied in their forms of intelligence. So you might have a child that's really strong up here in their critical and spatial reasoning and thinking, but lacking in social skills like just simple eye contact or keeping their hands still or showing attentiveness with their body. Instead of just assuming it's happy to skills and teach them. Um, okay, so that is the idea for this week with my ears and my whole body, I listen. And I want to invite you into listening with your whole body when you're making decisions or you're coming at the world or coming at your life, especially in raising kids. Remember that in this information age, it's easy to give your power away. Instead of giving your power away, take in information, let it filter through you, look, what's, look what lights you up inside, what feels like an aha moment, that's for you. Okay, and take that on or go do more inquiry and research and find out more if it's calling to you. That's how we can maintain our, our sense of intuition and stay connected to our feeling bodies in the midst of so much cerebral, 
right, intelligent type information out there. Okay, so remember to tune in, ask, listen, receive, and follow, and trust your body. Listen with your heart and your head in balance. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.